Hey, what's up? It's Josh from the Dialed In Hunter. I've got another backpack hunting type of video for you today. Today we're going to go through food. I'm going to show you what I bring with me um, as an example for a day out in the field. And then I'll kind of like break it, break all that stuff down and give you some other options and stuff like that. So um, first things first, I like to, with all the food that I have, I like to put it in a gallon Ziploc bag. I think this just keeps things nice and organized instead of just having just a pile of junk in your backpack with bars flying all over the place in there, you know? So like, I know that like this right here is like one day of food for me, right? Um, easy peasy. So that's how I like to do it. Uh, let's just, I'll just get right into it. We'll start with, um, and how I like to do a day of food uh, before I get into this, is I like to go breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. That's kind of how I look at a day of food. And how I arrived at that was, and in, like in terms of like how much food to bring, was I would go out into the field with too much food on purpose, like not even a backpacking trip. I would go out for a day of scouting and I would basically keep a log in my phone of what I ate and what I didn't eat. And at the end of the day, I'd be like, okay, was I hungry? Was I satisfied? You know, um, and that's kind of how I figured out ex pretty much exactly how much food I personally need. That's going to vary from person to person. So like what I have in here, it might be too much for you. It might not be enough for you. That's totally fine. Don't think that um, you know, if you take this amount of food out there and you're hungry, that's not your fault. That's not a bad thing, right? You got to do like all of our bodies are different and, um, we all have, uh, you know, different needs in terms of calories and stuff like that. So, um, so let's, so let's get into it. So breakfast, I get, I do, um, here's my, here's my breakfast. So coffee, absolutely. Of course, I literally just did a video a couple days ago on, uh, coffee and my backcountry coffee setup. I'll put a link down below for that. Um, but in a nutshell, dark timber gravity pack, um, that's kind of my go-to for coffee on backpack hunts. Um, this is my bag of pills. All right. What I put in here is all like, I got um, noni, okay? Which is like a super fruit type of, type of deal super high in antioxidants. Um, I'm always like paranoid. I'm going to get sick out on a hunt. It, it would suck to just hike all of these miles back in there and then you end up getting sick. So I kind of try to keep on top of that. So I do noni, vitamin C. Um, I also do, if I'm going, I'm hiking above a super high elevation, I'll bring a uh, wilderness athlete makes an altitude advantage that I bring, which absolutely works. Um, I used to get altitude sickness when I was a kid and, uh, since I started using that stuff, I haven't had an issue. So, um, right here I'm packing for a spring bear hunt, so I'm not going to be super high up in elevation. So I don't have that in this bag right now, but, um, I also put, uh, garlic, which is another like type of, um, garlic kills infection just like naturally. So that, and then, um, ginger. So ginger is great for your joints, um, for joint pain and stuff like that. So I try to, and it's also good to settle your stomach. So this is my bag of pills. I, I bring this with me, um, the, each, each one of these with me on each day I'm back there. So that's that. Now here's the good stuff. Breakfast, all right? I made this myself, all right? Um, this is, all this is is, rolled oats. I do a cup of rolled oats, dehydrated bananas, a little bit of cinnamon, um, some raisins, and um, this stuff right here. I'll put in Wilderness Athlete meal replacement, the vanilla, throw that in there. And I'll also do, um, I kind of mix this up. I don't have it in this bag, 
Um, but uh, if you get almond butter, RX or Justin's makes almond butter, I'll also throw that in here as well. Okay, so I'll boil like eight ounces or however much water, I always forget, I always just kind of eyeball it. I'll boil water, pour it in there, mix it up until everything is covered and I'll just let it sit there and kind of steep for a couple minutes. This is awesome, man, like awesome. It's super filling, satisfying, and uh, just a great all around breakfast that you can make at home. Um, if you wanna go the uh, prepackaged route and buy something, this stuff right here, I really like this. Um, Heather's Choice Buckwheat Breakfast. Uh, this is the apple pie one. Uh, she has uh, a bunch of different flavors. Uh, my favorite one is the strawberry vanilla. That's that's really good. Um, and yeah, it's just it's super filling. Th these don't take a ton of water. These only take four ounces of water. So that's something to keep in mind about um, you know, when you're back there, like sometimes, like in Arizona, sometimes water is pretty scarce. So if I have to pack water in, I'm gonna bring something like this or this, like this doesn't take a lot of water either. Um, while as some other uh, companies that make, you know, breakfast, dehydrated breakfast and stuff like that, a lot of times some of them are taking eight to 16 ounces of water and that's, um, Water is gold if it, if it is scarce on backpack hunts. So really like this stuff for breakfast. So that's so that's what I do about breakfast. Uh, I'm just gonna put this down here, get this out of the way. So for snacks, I like I like thinking of a snack as two things. Okay, <laughs> like so this would be a snack for me. You know, two two different bars. Um, Epic is great. Epic also makes like uh, these really, this really good jerky. Uh, they do like venison jerky um, and bison. It's, it's pretty awesome. And then pine bars are really, really great too. Um, that's, that's how I look at a snack. Now this is like, I, this bag is how it is right now. I'm going, I got a spring bear hunt planned in about a week or so. So I'm trying to get my food together. Another snack idea might be, um, a bag of almonds with uh, some dehydrated apple in it. I, I did that last year. That was great. Um, all just all sorts of trail mix you can do. Uh, you just got to find out what works for you. Another snack um, that I'll do is uh, I'll throw these in. These packaroons, these Heather Choice packaroons. Oh my goodness, these are great. <laughs> um, so like this would be a snack for me, packaroon and like some of these little fig bars. These are great. Um, so those are snacks. For lunch, I used to be, I used to be a bagel guy. All right, and sometimes I still I will still do that, but I've kind of drifted away. You can uh, well, a man can only eat so many peanut butter and bacon uh, bagels. Um, <laughs> they're good but uh, it definitely gets old. And the other thing is bagels, uh, bagels are big. You know, they take up a lot of room in your pack. Um, so that's definitely something to think about. Um, pack friendly lunch items. Um, if you wanna like have like something as, as a lunch, like a, like a bagel or something like that, you can get uh, like tortillas. Um, I've done tortilla with peanut butter, shredded coconut um maybe like you can get like a little stick of honey to put on there as well you just like roll that up and you got like this awesome peanut butter roll up type of deal uh, other than that uh, the more years i've done this i just kind of bring stuff <laughs> like like so for this trip like this would be like a lunch for me a lunch might be like three things for me you know what I mean? Or four things. I just kind of put stuff in there like that I need. These things right here, uh, these little like crackers, these are great for doing, uh, if you have some of that almond butter or the um, or just like peanut butter, uh, you can put that on here. Really great snack. I've uh, learned to um, honestly put almond butter or peanut butter on everything. So I've literally, I've put 
put almond butter on this, this, whatever. Like back there, you're just hungry and it, and you just want to eat and feel full. Um, so you get creative with stuff. So this, on that, like this day here, this would be a lunch for me. Like these are great little uh, crackers, lar bars are awesome. Um, and then these RX bars, these are, I really like these. These are clean, they're great. Um, so, and that's the other thing I try to, I try to keep things as healthy as I can. Like some of there, obviously there's sugar in some of this stuff, right? But uh, I think overloading yourself with junk, uh, I mean, having a stomach ache out there sucks. So I try to try to stay away from that stuff. And I know that all of this stuff right here, I don't have any stomach issues with it. So um, let's go, let's keep going. Uh, I, I do midday coffee too, okay? So like I'll have coffee in the morning and then midday, uh, sitting there up on top of a glassing hill, I'll make another cup of coffee with a vapor pack here. This is like a mountain mocha that Dark Timber makes. Super good. Um, and then at the end of the day, I'll have a dinner and then I'll have like just something small, like, uh, like a dessert eh, type of item, if you would. Um, these are, these are awesome. There's a lot of different companies out there that make, uh, dehydrated and freeze dried backpacking food. Uh, Heather makes some killer meals and it is all really good stuff, really great ingredients. You know, food is fuel. And I think, um, trying to make sure you put, um, trying to be mindful about what you put in your body out there really goes a long way so uh these these are great this is one of my favorite um flavors mom spaghetti really really awesome uh, another great thing about these is the same thing that i mentioned about the breakfast it takes less water okay so uh this one takes only 12 ounces of water and there she also has meals that might only take eight ounces of water okay um that's really important to somebody like me. Uh, a couple years back, I remember, you know, we, we packed in for spring black bears and uh, there wasn't water, you know, so we were, we were hauling water in there. So we were rationing water while we were back there. A meal like this that doesn't take 16 ounces of water means a lot. So, and on top of that, it tastes good. So that's, that's kind of what I do for, um, for uh, the food part of things. And this is just a little um, Trader Joe's bar. <laughs> so kind of have that at the end of the day as a sweet. Um, and then on top of that, some stuff, other stuff I bring with me is Wilderness Athlete Hydrate and Recover. Uh, I've forgotten this on trips before. This is a BCAA basically, branched chain amino acid helps with uh, muscle recovery, helps so you don't wake up super sore in the morning after blasting, you know, the mountain the, 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 the day before that. Um, the, I mean, it tastes great and uh, it, I mean, it hundred percent works. I've, I've, like I said, I've forgotten it and it is, it's not fun waking up the next day and you're just like, oh my goodness, I don't want to get up, you know, <laughs> like, cause your legs are thrashed. So I try to take that after, I, I try to drink this with dinner. Um, and then uh, if I need a boost through the day, I'll do, I'll throw an energy and focus with my lunch uh, during the day. And then another thing that they make, we'll learn this athlete, is this unplug. This was in uh, the pill bag, I forgot to mention it. So this is a, this is a sleep aid basically, okay? <laughs> like, and I've taken, I've tried stuff, like I've tried valerian root, and other stuff and like a lot of times i wake up with a like a throbbing headache after i think take those things i don't understand why i don't know what it is um but this stuff here i have i haven't had that issue yet with it i've i ran this all last season and slept great i woke up and i didn't have that super drowsy feeling that you have like after uh, like if you take nyquil and then you wake up the next morning you're like <laughs> um, I don't have that when I wake up. I'm ready to rock in the morning. So this is also always in my uh, pill bag on backpack hunts, especially. So that's it, man. That's my food that I bring with me. 
if you've got any questions on backpacking food uh, for uh, you know back for backpack hunts, uh, drop them down below. I'd be happy to help out and answer any questions. If you want to learn more about backpack hunting, I actually just wrote a book called Becoming a Backpack Hunter, A Beginner's Guide to Hunting the Backcountry. It is tailor-made for people that are just getting into all this stuff. Um, I wrote it kind of as something that I, I mean, honestly, that I wish I had when I started backpack hunting. It is a, uh, it lays down the foundation and maps out a path for you to get started doing this stuff. So I'll drop a link down below for that as well. Um, if you like the channel, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And until next time, stay safe out there.